Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mampolo from Mampolo's Corner. <laughs> Rene Amaisa. Guys, 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 this protest don't reach America. Mm. <laughs> they, don't, they don't carry the protest go to America. <laughs> they go to their Nigerian house there, mm. or the embassy. They go, they go hold the, the, what do they call them? They, they be one the lead embassy there, what do they call them again? Uh, one day, they go hold them to account. <laughs> Say, come outside, come outside. <laughs> As we are unable to see your president, Come and answer the Oba here. Mm. <laughs> now they begin to fire them there. They fire them there. This is what you are supposed to do. This is what you are, your country is doing wrong. We are here. This is not our country. Ono aposhi us come out. Ono no give us job. Ono do this one say eh eh. Nigerian people ono ono as a big whole people for account for abroad. Ah if na Nigeria na if na Nigeria now those able men, strong men, big men, rich men, reputable men, they not go stand. Men that they talk to them. <laughs> For Nigeria, who are you? Police go down for you, what? Libya, Libya, Libya. Mm. But this is America. You must listen. If you don't listen, they go, they go help you listen. <laughs> are you normal? Yeah, yeah. The Western world, UK, America, Canada. Nobody. They don't care anybody. They don't. They don't they look your face. Small boy, one day like this, go just stand you uh, as a prime minister of the UK. They go wash you, tell you what they want to tell you, and you must go and do that thing. Now be now now where law they work. Mm. Who are you for Nigeria when you go meet common local government chairman? I say local government chairman. Counselor of your ward. You know go feel me mm. <laughs> You go see that they do security. You go see that they do police. They harass everybody. You see, we are backward. We are not developed. <laughs> that, is, that is one of the, the, the symptoms or one of the signs of knowing uh, on, on, the, on that developed country. <laughs> not even a developing country. On that developed country. Mm. That's one of the signs. That you don't have your mind, you, don't, you can't talk. That you all your freedom of speech are restricted. They will shut you up, you know, by power that be, you know, using 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 power to shut you down, you know. You know, okay, look at the protests, the way they are doing it. People are hijacking it. Some people are suppressing some people. Some people are doing anything they like. Some people are using uh, the shakadum. Some people are using tear gas. Everybody shut up, shut up, shut up. But this is not how you're going to quench the protest because. What you have done is to be able to suspend it or postpone it for a while. Before you know it, you come back again. Why? The root cause, the, the, the proper rudiment, the, the root cause of the problem have not been solved. It's still there waiting for you. <laughs> you got what they call postponement. You can postpone something. You don't mean say you don't solve the problem or it's not going to resurface in future. I don't know whether they quench people, they damn people. It's not the best. I, I, can, I can believe maybe probably Tunubu is trying his best. To see what they can do. I don't have problem with Tunubu at all. <laughs> I don't have problem with his government. But try as much as possible to make the demands of these people. The demands of this protest are met. Uh, before you relax. Don't relax. Because if hunger buy them too much again, it will resurface. Because hunger not be anybody made. Including me. Now for those who never seen Nigerians in America. Go to the whole the cons consular generals. All those people when they, when they lead the Nigerian house for America. Uh, what do you call them? High commission, their commission, their high commission in America. They call them out. Say, come out. Let me talk to you in the language you understand. <laughs> this is what we call professional protest. Are you normal? But I don't want to watch that video. All right, now, <laughs> we'll watch the video. We are ready to listen to you. We are ready to carry your message. But don't abuse us. Definitely. Okay. We, we, as you can see, you know already, we are Nigerians. We are Nigerians who are angry, who are hungry. A hungry man is an angry man. We have suffered for too long. This government has suffered all of us. They're killing us every day. You are aware. Likewise, I am. One dollar is equal to 1,580 Naira. That is too much. When I was born, I am 59 now. When I was born, I met when it was two naira to one pound. Pounds, not even dollars. But today, how can I explain to my children that this thing ever existed like this? Can you imagine a whole city president coming to the public view and telling us that we know that Nigerians are suffering right now, but uh, the life of the president is more important than the life of the ordinary citizen for now. So we are going to buy him a private jet. You have to endure with us. How on earth would a good father say that to a child? 
why would they be buying SUVs for themselves? There are no roads. We do not have keep Nigerian lights. Nigeria, you know myself as, as I know that Nigerians are capable of producing things. Here in the United States, we have a lot of Nigerians who are doctors, who are engineers. We make this happen in this country. We make this happen in this world. But in our own country, we are not recognized at all. We, our children don't go to good schools. Many of the schools have no roof. The ones that have roofs, there are no windows. There are no roads to pass. Every day, there are killings on the, on the road. You cannot walk around by 8 p.m. You have to hold your head in your own hands. That is not what we want. We want Nigerian constitution to be changed. We want a referendum because the Nigerian constitution is a fraud. It yes. was handed over to us by yes. the military. We want a constitution that binds us democratically, where all of us will sit together. Referendum and now! We will discuss it and then agree that this is what binds us and it is a legal document. But this one is a fraudulent document. We cannot be eating sachet of rice anymore. We're tired. We don't want distribution of rice. We want our industries to work. We want the Angote as an individual is able to build a refinery. How come entire nation cannot make one refinery work? It is shame. shame. It is embarrassing. You should be ashamed of yourself. I, I, I go to many places. I cannot be proud in America here and call myself in Nigeria because they look at me as a fraudulent person. They forget the good part of us because the worst part of us has spoiled the names of the good part of us. This is not acceptable anymore. We want it to end right now, and that is why we are here. All over, this thing is happening in UK right now. It's happening in Nigeria right now. Worldwide, well, you are seeing it. Go to CNN. It's being aired. This is why we are here. And we also, and we also want you guys here because we know how you operate here in this building. A lot of you operate. You don't know what you're doing. We come here. I came here one time. I had to get my passport three times, and I had to pay for it. I had to pay for the mistakes you made. So whatever happened in Nigeria also happens here. Because this building here, a lot of incompetent people work here. A lot of incompetent people. The way you run Nigeria is the way you are running this building. Right. And number two, we want Nigeria people have the right to protest. Because it's supposed to be a democratic country. Right. So we don't want the, the government to be putting military and policemen out of Nigeria to be killing our people for exercising their democratic rights. If they want to kill people, they should go to where Boko Haram. Look, look at the police officers here now. Have you seen them harass any of us? They only came to address us. But in our own country, they, they come and kill us. They should, and go, and, they should go and get us not acceptable they anymore. They should go and meet Boko Haram and kill Boko Haram. Okay? They should not kill the citizens. Number three, we want the agro system. The thuggish, the thuggish system to stop. Go. Because we know a lot of you are part of the criminal gang in Nigeria. And they bring you here to work here. And I'm going to let you know that right now, that if you are working for this building, you are working for the criminal organization of Nigeria. You are working for the terrorist government of Nigeria. Yes. Because Nigerian government is the one that is, that is, that is sponsoring terrorists. Nigerian, Nigerian government, not the sponsors of terrorism. So they should hold them accountable. Tell Tinumbu to go and hold the killers of our kings in Ekiti. The people that were king, killed by Boko Haram and they brought their bloody bodies on the roads and put them in the people. Tell them to go and hold them accountable. Because you guys are just hypocrites. You come here, you act like you're hearing us, but guess what? The next minute you turn our back, you stab us in the back. So that's what we want. We want Nigeria, we want the national constitution to hand. Yes. We want the national constitution to hand. Yes. Because when Nigeria was created, listen guys, so Nigeria was, you will talk, my sister. Nigeria was created in 1914 by Lord Juga. You all know the history. If you don't know the history, you should go back to history school. Nigeria was created by, in 1914 by Lord Juga. Mary Slessor. No, Mary Slessor. No, no, you don't like it. What's this? Flora, His girlfriend. Flora, 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 Flora. It's a shame. It's a very big shame. In this country that is not even ours, we benefit from them. Why can't we benefit from our own country? And it's a rich country. Nigeria is a rich country. Why are we suffering? Why are we traveling up and down? People die on the road, traveling to the Europe. To Europe. People die, they, 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 they could travel by road, and they die. Some of them die on the road, just because they want to leave Nigeria. Because the suffering is too much. Why do you see that people are suffering? You as a president, people are suffering. They can't even find food to eat. A lot of people are suffering in Nigeria. Go to Nigeria, everyone has become beggars. But the government, 
they have the right to buy private jet. Yes. People have the right to buy private yes. jet. No, no, no. When people are suffering, they cannot even eat a no, meal. A meal. They buy they bought SUVs for people. They built houses on Chatima. Does it not have a house before? Why are living in the bush? Why are Chatima living in the bush? Why are Chatima living in the bush before? Why would they build a house here when people are hungry? When people are hungry, they hide palliatives. They hide palliatives from us. Uh, thank you. And that's it, under the Indobi. These criminals hold it from us. Uh, during they don't want us to eat. During COVID 19. They don't want us to eat. I wouldn't be here if Nigeria was working. This is not my country. But Nigeria is not working. You go to school and come to finish school, you cannot get a job. You cannot find a job. You come to this country today, you find a job when it's not even your country. Why can't our country be like that? We don't have road, no good job, no water. We, you build a house for yourself. You provide road for yourself. You oh. provide a different bill, a different phone for yourself. You provide a wire. They will just bring bill. All they know is to bring bill. Bill. They won't even see the light, oh, but they will bring bill. bill. And it will stay. Why? Okay. One Why? more thing I just said. Oh, no, that's jam. <laughs> As our, our brothers and sisters went there for America, they be no. That they provoke. <laughs> Uh, my brother and sister, let me tell you something. You see all those women when they talk to them. Now them they worse than even the government when they home. <laughs> the food for here now. All those uh, Nigerian house here, some of them there. <laughs> then you see that one when I talk now they end. They're not gonna even call anybody, tell them what you're not talk. Oh. I'm telling you in advance. <laughs> you see all those all those Nigerian high commissions, every 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 country, uh, then they worse than the corrupt politician back home. Mm. Let me tell you now. And they go, they go, they, they tell them, like, say, they just say that they look on her because they die abroad. If not Nigeria, they don't tell her. <laughs> and that's, as soon as they talk to them, they, so they, they diverse. They, they, their mind now say, I wish I did Nigeria. This woman, they talk to them now. What you have for don't do them? This boy, when they talk to them, what you have for don't do them? Now, that is only what they are thinking there. What you have for do you? For saying that Nigeria, they talk that, that, for them, to them, for saying that Nigeria, they talk the rubbish. <laughs> Say, you know, get a pair for your papa. Now, now that is on their mindset, too. As they did that. So don't think that you are there, my brothers and sisters, when they protest. Say you they protest, say your protest go past uh, Mount Polo's corner here. Uh, or that, that, that front one on a day. You know, pass. You people are only creating awareness, which is good. It's okay. But it's not, it's not, it's not going to help anything. <laughs> even them, they're not going to even take it further. Further. Further to the next person in rank. They won't take it. They won't take it. As, I, as the person do not finish, will not go. They will just dump everything when I talk there. Even if you say, even video them, we don't go even see them. Nothing will happen about that. I know what they tell you. I, I, I beg, in this country, now make we do the one when we fit. Leave the rest for God. No only that one, me and I day. I don't know what I want to talk again. Now, let me come to my people one day for abroad. One one send money. Guys, for most of you who always ask me, Man Polo, what is the best way? <laughs> what is the best way to send money back home to Nigeria? <laughs> The best way is tap tap send. They are very quick, very reliable. No fee, everything free. <laughs> very high rate as well. You can choose to receive both in dollar and in naira. Anyone where you like. <laughs> now your choice. If you can't add my promo code Mampolo or capital letter, if you mistake the button, they add more money for you. <laughs> if you are if you are the first user, they will add more money for you. If you are in the UK, they will add more five pounds. If you are in US, more ten dollars. If you are in Canada, more ten dollars. If you are any part of Europe, more five euros. <laughs> so now, if you are in the UK, if you are in Canada, America, any part of any part of Europe, or say so, quick, go to your app store now if you have not downloaded. Mm. Don't allow people to rip you off. Other people that will be telling you, oh, you need five pound fee for hundred pound, for hundred euro, for hundred dollar. You need to pay five pound. You need to five, pay five euro. You need to pay five dollar. We don't do it in tap tap send. We don't do it. Just download and send for free. And their rate is out of this world. Mm. Don't forget my promo code, Mampolo. You will be fine, guys. If you love what I am doing here, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. Why do they call S now? All are Mampolo. It's gonna love you guys. Peace out.